Are you a beginner when it comes to editing your content for YouTube? Well, you're in the right place because I'm gonna share three easy but powerful ways to help make your content more engaging and professional. And best of all, these three steps can be applied no matter which editing software you're using. I've been creating YouTube videos for over three and a half years now, and this is the method I use to help me edit videos efficiently and professionally. So let's get straight into step one, and this revolves around creating a great base for your video. Now, if you create content similar to me where you're directly speaking to the camera, that's called A-Roll. And you'll probably have one big file of your A-Roll that you'll have recorded from your filming session. And the first thing you wanna do is to bring this into your editing software and to just cut out all the bad takes. And of course, all the silent parts where you're not talking. Now, I used to do this just manually. I just go through with the blade tool and cut out all the bad sections. But what I do now is I drop my raw file into a program called ReCut, which automatically removes all of the silent segments from my video. And then I'll take that project file and import it into my editing software. And from there, I'll remove all of the bad parts. If you're interested in recut, there's a link below that'll get you $10 off. Now, once this part of the step is complete, you've got kind of two more things to think about. The first is the intro. And the intro is arguably the most important part of your video because this is where you hook your viewer. All you have to do is just think about when you're watching YouTube videos and you click on one. If it doesn't immediately start to deliver you what it promised in the thumbnail, you'll probably pretty quickly click away. So in order to avoid that, just cut out any rambling or irrelevant information at the very start of your video and make sure that within 20 seconds, you really start getting into your actual content. And then from there, just apply the same philosophy to the rest of your video. So just go through your base edit and any parts of the video that you feel like might be kind of irrelevant to your main point, or they might not actually be useful to your viewer, just cut it out. Now I've definitely been guilty of this. And I think I've thought about it kind of like how a used to write essays when I was in high school. And that was, I had a certain word count that I was meant to hit. And so I'd fill out my word count with a whole bunch of filler words. And so there's a huge temptation for me to do the same thing with my videos. But in reality, your viewer doesn't care. They just want the information that they're looking for. So that's all you need to give them. So now once we finish this step, we have a really clear, concise base for our video that actually communicates what we want it to communicate. Now we move into step two, and this is all about making the video more engaging and visually appealing to watch for the viewer because unfortunately often just watching someone speak to camera can be kind of boring and so we need to spice it up with some music and b-roll so first of all find some music that matches the tone of your video and this is a really great way to help set the emotion the feel of your video which just enhances your communication so i use epidemic sound for all of my music but if you're looking for free music that doesn't have copyright youtube actually has a built-in audio library with both music and sound effects once you've picked your music just drop that into your video. You can either have one single track for the whole video, or you can have different tracks for different sections of your video, which is what I personally like to do. Now, the next thing I do in this step is to go back and rewatch my entire video from start to finish and just write down a list of all the different things that I talk about that I think I could add some B-roll to. Now, if you're not sure what B-roll is, it's literally just footage that you overlay on top of your A-roll or the footage of you talking to the camera. And this gives your viewer a visual break from your face to help them avoid getting bored while they're watching. A good way to remember this is to try and show rather than tell. If you can show something visually on screen with a video rather than explaining it verbally, it's always gonna be more impactful to your viewer. Now, once I've written this list, I can then go and either film that B-roll, which is ideal because it's original content and it's often the most engaging, or I can go and find some stock B-roll that other people have created online. A really great website with heaps of free video footage is pexels.com. There's all sorts of different B-roll on there that you can quickly and easily download to add to your video and not have to worry about any copyright. Download it all into a single folder and then go through and add that B-roll into the relevant sections throughout your video. Now, once this is done, congratulations because you've almost finished your YouTube video. But there's one more really important step that can take your video from good to great. And that is step three, which is to refine and add final adjustments to your video. Now, the first thing to do is to adjust your audio levels. So chances are, if you just dropped your music in, it's gonna be too loud. It's going to drown out your voice. So you want to turn it down so that it's not distracting, but it creates a clear vibe throughout your video. I find that around negative 25 to negative 30 decibels is what works well for me, but have a play around with it and see what sounds good to you. The next thing I'll do is I'll go through and find the segments where there's still a roll of me talking directly to the camera. And this is a little trick to help spice those segments up. All you have to do is just add different zoom levels to different cuts. And this does two things. First of all, it helps you 
you to emphasize key points in your video that you really want your viewer to pay attention to. And then the second thing is just that it adds some more visual interest. It makes the video a bit more dynamic. It makes it look like more things are going on. And this can really help keep your viewer engaged. Now, the last final adjustment that you can make is to add titles for any of your key points. And again, the idea is just to add more visual layers to help keep your viewers engaged and to really make your key points pop. Depending on what editing software you're using, there's probably some built-in titles that you can easily add into your video. Otherwise, have a look online. There's definitely free titles out there or again, paid services that provide heaps of different title templates for you to use. And once you've done all of that, you should have a really engaging, interesting and professional YouTube video ready to upload and share with your subscribers. If you're looking for more ways to speed up your video editing process, then check out this video here. But other than that, I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you very soon in the next video.